both of these players are incredibly excellent, very proficient with both of these characters. Um, Zayn, she is of course very, very good um, with the Duck Hunt. And of course, um, Frozen equally as good with um, the Pithora. So, um, I think interesting things about this matchup, of course, we uh, know by now, of course, seeing as much Duck Hunt as we have with Zane's uh, come up, uh, they have obviously improved immensely over the past few months. Um, and um, well, we know, again, that, that Clay Pigeon is such a good combo starter, such a great frame one option that when you get hit by a weak move, you can actually mash out of it. Same with Can, of course. Oh, Jab Blocks? Ooh, that down smash, of course. Um, Duck Hunt's smash attack's not super duper fast. Um, gonna be tough to get them out of jab blocks, and sometimes those hitboxes just aren't quite big enough to hit uh, a small opponents on the floor. But a quick side B clay pigeon into that back air is gonna be enough, and Zane she takes the first stock. Let's see if Frozen Hover has that response. Has Zane in the corner at the moment? Ooh, that Uppy, of course, does not have a spike hitbox, but that Dare has a super strong sour spot. Does not kill quite yet. Wow, the edge guards by uh, Frozen looking so good so far, but able to get back to stage that can, recovering Zane so, so well. Back to stage. Ooh, but a quick F tilt on that neutral B, or on that neutral getup recovery, and a side B right afterward is gonna be enough to the stock. Um, Zane got a tiny bit of extra credit, but um, not enough to really establish themselves in this game number um, one. And now Frozen uh, herself, she has started to take the lead. Boom. Out of the corner there. Um, was uh, Faye with that, with that lightning buster, but a quick combo by Zane. Boom. Okay. Nice little neutral beat there um, to get out of that situation by Zane. You take that trade. Um, already at 60% now. Much more even in stocks. And you can see the weak knockback of that neutral beat, the startup of it. Um, able to get traded with that uh, side beat by Duck Hunt, and it allowed Zane to get a quick conversion there. Um, already has. Um, uh, frozen in the corner once more. Wow, that hitbox was really far behind the clay pigeon. Um, excellent recognition by, right there by Zane. Ooh. All right. Landing back down to the ground. Ooh, but a nice neutral B um, utilization right there by um, Zane. Such a, um, really a master of, of using that move to cover as much stage as possible. Frozen struggling to get out of the corner there. There, another trade for Zane. Does end up getting out of the corner again. Duck of course, does not have the hitboxes to compete with a character like Pyramithra. But that down air is going to be enough to convert into that up air and be a stock. And now is the struggle of Duck killing. Ooh, that side B dead all the way out. And the can combo going to be just enough. So we have even stocks going into the, the last bit of this game, number one. That side B, wow, converted for a quick 35 damage. That trade not in the favor of Zane. They are stuck in the corner now. Looking took a quick 71%, 70% in the air. The disadvantage state for Zane has been troublesome so far against this Pyramithra. Taking a lot of damage. And a down air trade, certainly not a good one. Not one you wanna see for sure if you're Zane in the corner right now though. Nair's down to the floor. Are we gonna see a fair? Does not end up coming out on um, the stock just yet. Ooh, but that Nair is so huge. Forces Frozen into the corner, but that side B, of course, covers so, so much space. So difficult to land on top of that move, and Zayn was not able to get the punish on that air dodge due to it. Oh. Ooh, this is a great potential situation for Zayn. Um, she has the potential to end a stock here if they can get back out of disadvantage. Ooh, that gun is gonna be so huge. The can setup is set up in the corner. Ooh, but a, a read on the jump right there. A little bit of an errand read with that up air. Not going to be able to take the stock and is going to be frozen. Taking that game number one. It was a really strong um, start to that last stock for frozen. Started to crumble there at the end. Um, but again, a read on the jump did not end up working out for Zane, And that was going to be a quick up smash coming out from Frozen, and she is going to be taking game number one. We're going straight to Pokemon Stadium. I imagine we're seeing Duck Hunt again. I can't imagine we're switching characters. Of course, we are in fact seeing that Duck Hunt again. 
you are seeing a um, alt switch, which Zane is well known for at this point. No more Dalmatian, just default Duck Hunt now. Pyramithra, staying the same alt, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we're going to see if the if there is a level of adaptation, I think especially in disadvantage against um, the Pyramithra for Zane. Of course, Pyramithra is such an oppressive character. Once they hit advantage state, um, really can make it tough for a character that does have limited de defensive options outside of that frame one um, can to get out of disadvantage uh, for uh, Duck Hunt. Quick up airs back to stage. Nair down. And again, the disadvantage has been so tough for Zane. She really has been struggling to get down, back down to the floor, struggling to get back down to stage. That downer really does send that can nowhere. Uh, however, with Pith, with uh, Pyra out specifically, um, the stock for Duck Hunt is looking potentially close to an end. Looking for that side B back air, and that back air itself is going to be enough. Um, frozen that, for, taking that first stock so huge. And now Mithra. You, once you win neutral once, you're essentially guaranteed to get like a nice little bit, at least like 30%. Does just that right there. Ooh, and gets around the side B. Super um, small, the hitbox when Pithra, or the hurtbox I should say, when um, Mithra is running. So definitely a great way to get around Can to get around that, um, that side B for um, Mithra against Duck Hunt. But that Can, not going to be able to get, uh, get the tech there. And that's going to be a stock. Zane, after falling down a decent margin, she does have a chance now to get back into this game. Ooh. In the corner now for Zane. Ooh, a quick conversion. Gets a nice 47%. Looking for a can trap as well. Use, using Mithra now. Get back to the floor. Ooh, and a nice 92% combo already on deck um, for uh, Zane. After being down a huge margin, she's already back in the game. Oh, and the tech is on the platform. That is such a tough situation. You see how frustrated Zane is um, there. Looking for a tech roll in. Doesn't end up getting it, but that might be a stock. Ooh, not only missed the RAR there, um, missed the hit in general. So not going to be able to take the stock. All right. That they pitch difficult to deal with. A good trade for Zane there. You have to get this stock off. That neutral B, even though you're down a little bit of percent, even if you have to take one more trade to end the stock, it might be necessary. You, you already have Frozen at a huge 190%, essentially. Knocking that can off ledge. Really great utilization there of the side B. And now these trades aren't looking so good. 56% though. We saw Zane and how they were able to make a quick comeback um, start, uh, in that second stock. We're going to see a much needed um, comeback as well if they're going to be able to bring this game back though. And this is already a nice bit of damage. A uh, quick 34. Um, Frozen ended up getting it in there. That is a huge trade on the grab. Going to be getting another one? No. Opting just to go for the fair there. Missing some of these conversions, but it's still working out for Zane. Now has that percent lead. Can the Pyramithra get back to stage? Ooh, a tray there on the Clay Pigeon. Allowed for Frozen to get back to stage safely. She now has Zane in disadvantage. One dare to up smash. One dare to up B. One dare to up air. Will become either close or dangerously close, or, or rather close, or will actually just take the stock. Um, I think we're getting to that point where now in the corner, Etel will just kill Duck Hunt. Ooh, looking for that landing right there. Um, Zane does not give it to Faye. And that back air, relatively safe. Tough to deal with, but catching that jump fair, not enough just yet. Duck Hunt, not the lightest character in the world. Fair, catching the jump. That side B, of course. Um, limiting the space the Duck Hunt can move. Has to really stay in the corner there. Not that Duck Hunt really minds staying in the corner all that much. Ooh, tough situation for Zane to get out of. It's so tough because you want to jump as to not get hit by F-Tilt, but then you get baited by the fair. It's still not enough, though, after being staled once. Oh, and then Nuzhu's get up. Almost got caught by fair. Up smash. Back air. Still not enough just yet. But the gunman. Also not enough. The can. We're back to stage, and now it's Mithra. Oh, no! The frame two ability to get out of combos. The clay pigeon into up air did not confirm. And that's what we call privilege. That's what we call some character privilege. You'll love to see it. Yeah, I would be a little tight if I was Zane, too. I'd be a little upset. With that said, folks... 
that is going to be it for me, at least for a little while. I'll probably get on a little bit later today. We are a little short on casters, of course. Um, as you can see, I am solo casting today. Um, obviously, with the restrictions of Riptide, we want it to be as safe as possible. 